Hi friends. Today we're going to go over the um, Roanoke City Public School Grade 1 Reading Home Review Packet. This is for um, Week 2, Day 2. Okay, so the first part of the assignment is to reread Let's Go to the Moon. And that was from the Journeys textbook. And um, if you don't have the Journeys textbook, please reach out to your teacher and let them know because uh, one should have come home for your child to complete um, as we do this work from home. So the directions for day two are to reread Let's Go to the Moon and complete pages two and three, words with long O. And that means from this packet. So we're going to go ahead and skip down and read that. All right. All right, words with long O. Read the word, circle the picture that matches the word. So you're going to read this word right here, and you're going to circle the picture. This word says home, so you would want to circle the picture of the home. Coat would be spelled C-O-A-T. All right, number two, you're going to read that word. It says G-O. We have this picture and this picture. So this word is go. So you would want to circle the picture of the car because it is going down the road. All right, number three, read this word. Take a look at this picture and this picture. All right. This looks like a phone and this looks like a stone. And the word here is stone, so I would circle this picture. Four. All right, so take a look at number four. Read this word. Yeah, this picture. And this picture. And this one can be really tricky because of this reversal. I always remember the letter B is the baseball bat. It's like the stick part hits the baseball. And the baseball is like the little round part in the B. So this is robe, and I would circle this picture of the robe. This is a road, so it would be almost the same, except for it would be, a, you'd make a D, and you would make the doorknob opens the door. That's how I remember the difference in those two. All right, I'm going to go to number five, and I'm going to read this word right here. I'm going to take a look at this picture. I'm going to take a look at this picture. So this is a hole. This looks like a picture of a hose, an H-O-S-E, like a garden hose. And this is a picture of a dog digging a, that's right, hole. All right, so you'd circle that one. All right, next we're going to go over page three. So, on page three, we've got words with long O. So this is a picture of a, I see a flag, but the arrow is pointing to the pole. So for this one, I would fill in the missing letters. I would do an O. And then a magic E. It's kind of hard to draw with these. I'm going to switch colors so you guys can see a little bit better. Let me just do black here. All right. So this is a picture of a bone, a dog bone. So I've got my B. I'm going to make my O. And I've got my N. And I'm going to make my E over. Around. So B O N E, bone. All right, number three. All right. So it looks like they are going to, this, this one's getting ready to go somewhere. It looks like they're waving goodbye. I have my G, so all I need is an L. All right. Number four. This looks like a, take this, the 
rope is making forming a lasso. So I have an R and then a P. So rope, R O P E. I'm making my E. I start below the dotted line, I go up to the dotted line and back out and touch the bottom. Okay. I will take a look at these two. All right, here's a stove. So I've got my ST blend there, stove. So to make my O, I'm going to start right at the dotted line. Come all the way back around and touch it on top. I've got my V, my E, I start about halfway down. Go over, push up to the dotted line. There you go. Number six is a picture of a robe. It's like this is the tie that would go around your waist and you tie it. So I have my R and my B. Robe. I'm going to start at the dotted line, make my O. B. And I've got my letter E. Alright. There you have it. Page 2 and 3.